up you guys just this past weekend i was online looking for a wave wand which is actually what i've done to my hair i did it last night for the first time and i came across this brand called bondi boost so while i was on their website looking at the wave wand they had i actually was like just looking around at what other stuff they have and i found out that it seems like they're a brand that is really focused on hair growth like they have a lot of hair growth products and i know quite a few brands have lines like that but i feel like it's more geared towards like length of your hair like growing longer hair i don't know if you guys actually know how long my hair is but i do not need any longer hair but as i was looking into it more with the reviews and the description it is actually meant for like thickening hair and promoting hair growth i think i bought like their whole like hair growth thing like the the bundle so all the products came in this cute little box let me see if i can show this to you guys so it came packaged like this. It's very weighty, I guess, because there's a lot of products in there. And I guess I will just quickly run through all of the products that I've got. So the first two main things that I gravitated towards was the shampoo and conditioner because I have been using the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. And although it does seem more beneficial to do things like masks and oils and things like that, as much as I try and implement them as much as I possibly can, I feel better like being forced into doing something. So like I have to wash my hair every two days or three days or however long it is. So I really want to be taking every opportunity I can to be like doing something healthy for my hair so that's why I always like to pick like special shampoos and conditioners this is the shampoo and conditioner they are 300 milliliters each and it says HD Oh, I didn't mean to like flip you guys off it says HD conditioner HD shampoo hair growth I'm assuming that's what that stands for it says Australian made paraben sulfate and silicone free vegan friendly and cruelty free all of those things sound aces to me and it's saying the main ingredients or the hero ingredients are peppermint rosemary and stinging nettle I do not know what stinging nettle is but okay so that is the shampoo and conditioner which I will be using as frequently as I can, which is like every three three days at this point. And then another thing that came with this little kit was the Miracle Hair Mask. I really love hair masks. I used to use a hair growth one like 10 years ago, it was ages ago when I was just trying to grow my hair for length. And this one is including argan, abyssian, macadamia, pasta, and oh my gosh, I can never say this one. I don't want to try. Jojoba? Am I saying that right? It sounds like I'm saying it wrong. So don't crucify me if I'm saying it wrong or somebody just tell me how to pronounce that. And then it says it smells like candy canes. I'm going to be using this once a week. Then this next product is the intensive spray. So I was a little confused on this one when I was like looking through all of this stuff. But a lot of people were like swearing by it, like they weren't buying any other stuff except for this one. So I've got extremely high hopes out of this one. I don't know if that's like going to be a good thing or a bad thing or if I'm setting myself up to be disappointed. I really hope this does something. So on the back, this one says it is a concentrated leave-in formula that contains vitamin B5, peppermint, and tea tree essential oil. See, and the interesting thing I found about this one too is it says apply once a day to wet or dry hair and just like massage it into your hair. Every experience I've had putting anything in my hair, especially daily, sounds like it's going to make my hair oily even faster than it already does, which doesn't seem possible. But this one especially says that it is non-greasy and lightweight. So I guess stick around to find out if that's true. But then the final part of this little program is the Elixir hair oil, it says organic. And on the front, it just says Jamaican black castor oil, coconut oil, and abyssi, abyssinian. I'm saying this wrong. <laughs> I'm saying this so wrong. Okay, somebody like phonetically spell that down below. Um, but I really like this one because it comes in like a little, it looks kind of like a flask to me. Apply from roots to ends on dry or wet hair. Leave for a minimum of 15 minutes. For optimal results, use weekly. Whew. Okay, so I'm going to be using this one weekly as well as the mask. This sounds quite time consuming, or at least for my hair schedule. Now, when I was reading the reviews, I noticed that a lot of people were saying that they noticed changes within a month. So that's how long I'm going to give it before I like do my final results for this. I'll check in every week just to like see if I can document the progress if there is any and then at the end of the month we'll like chalk this whole thing up realistically you guys i don't expect any product to make my hair thick 
I think that's a little bit unrealistic. Um, I'm just hoping for like better coverage or you know just like progress. Um, I also want to put out there that this is not sponsored. I paid for all of these products with my own money. Bondi Boost has absolutely no idea that I'm making this video and I really hope that it works because I paid for it. <laughs> Hi again. So it is the day after you just saw that last clip. I think it's March 5th now. Um, my hair is like beyond oily at this point. So it's about time that I need to wash it. So I'm going to be trying the hair oil. So before I put it in, I'm just going to brush my hair. I just want to make sure I don't have any knots. I'm just gonna make it easier to put this oil in. So I don't know if you can see that. It kind of looks like a puddle of pee. So I'm just going to start off with this little bit and I guess just put it... Ugh. This feels so gross. I feel like I'm going to use like a lot of the bottle if I try and get every single bit of my hair like wet. Oh, actually, I haven't used that much. It just kind of seems like it because it's coming out of this little squeezy guy. Ooh, it definitely smells like an organic whole food store. It's not bad. I just wish that it smelled like something better. <laughs> I think I've got like a decent amount in there now. Um, it's not like drenched, but I definitely got every single part of it oiled. So it's feeling thoroughly disgusting. I'm going to keep it on for as long as possible. If I can sleep with it, I will. Otherwise I will be back later to wash it out with the shampoo and conditioner. I guess I'll walk around for the rest of the day smelling like Whole Foods, but at least I'm staying at home. Okay, so the sun is going down. My phone is running out of battery and I've had this in for like three hours now. I feel like three hours is sufficient amount of time for my head to have reaped the benefits of this. Yeah, I'm going to wash the oil out. I don't want to have to wash my hair like three times to get the oil out, so hoping the first time does the trick. I think at this point my YouTube channel has just become how unattractive can I possibly be in front of lots and lots of people. So today is March 6th, which means yesterday was the day that I put the oil in my hair and then I washed it. This is how my hair dried after I washed it yesterday. I haven't brushed it, I haven't straightened it, like I slept on it, that's why I look extra crazy right now. The shampoo and conditioner was really nice. The only things I can note about them is that it smells really good. My hair really didn't feel that much different when I came out. It wasn't like the first time I used Olaplex and I was like, oh my God, my hair looks like brand new. Like it wasn't like that. But now I'm just going to put this little spray on. I put it on yesterday. It did not leave like any greasiness at all. It feels really like regular and dry up there. So you can just, they say just to like massage it in. This is just me lightly doing that. So that's all you really have to do every single day. I'm gonna try and do it every single morning if I can because that's just when I get ready the most. I will check in with you guys probably in the next couple days. Um, I'm gonna try and not wash my hair for like at least three days and then I'm going to do the hair mask and then use the shampoo and conditioner again. Okay, hi. So it is now March 9th. A couple of things. The first thing is my hair is not as like grossly oily as it looks right now. I ran out of hairspray the other day. So I kind of played around with the idea of using my husband's pomade in my hair when I had a ponytail yesterday. So that's what all of this is, the oiliness. And also if it looks like I have dandruff, it's the same thing, it's just the pomade. So I'm sorry, it looks gross, but it's not actually gross. And then the second thing is that I'm going to be putting the hair mask on, the uh, Miracle hair mask. So diving right into this, what does it say? Oh, after shampooing in place of conditioner. I have to wash my hair and then I have to put this in and leave it for 15 minutes. Stuff like this always is kind of annoying to me because it's not as if I'm going to stand in my shower for 15 minutes, so I am going to have to like dry off a little bit and I don't know, do something for 15 minutes. Maybe everybody else is different, but I can't stomach wasting water for 15 minutes and just standing around. So I'm going to wash my hair and then I will be right back. I hope you can see it. It looks kind of grimy. No. Okay, so it's now March 14th. It's a Saturday. It's been a week and two days since I first started this whole thing. But I guess I will just show you a closer up of my hair. This is it. I know it looks very extreme because I've got it pulled up right now. 
Usually I would cover this with powder, but because I'm doing this experiment, I have not put any powder or sprays or anything in my hair except for these products, and I plan to do so for the rest of the month. I am noticing after I use the hair mask for 15 minutes, my hair is very, very soft. Like the oil doesn't do that, but every time I use that hair mask, all of my hair is just ridiculously soft. It doesn't feel like I have any split ends or anything. It's like the first time I used Olaplex. And also I've been using the spray, the daily spray on my hair every single day. I have not missed a day. I actually really love that stuff. I don't know if it's making like a difference yet, but I don't know. I just really like it. I like the smell and it, it kind of tingles a little bit. I don't know if that's just in my head, but I feel like it tingles a little bit. Now I will say, and I don't know if it's from the shampoo and conditioner itself, or maybe it's one of these mosques. It is giving me like mild dandruff. Um, I never get dandruff at all and it is quite cold outside here so that could be attributing to it but I don't think so because when I was using the Olaplex um, everything was all fine and dandy and all of a sudden now that I've started this new stuff I'm getting dandruff. Something that I'm really looking out for is baby hairs because that's what I want out of this product. I want hair to grow in places that it just wasn't before. Like I know that there's this big circle here where like there's no hair follicles there at all and it just, it bothers me so much. So that's the dream, that's the goal to get at least one hair coming out of this tiny little circle right here. But this is my one week check-in. I am not going to be doing any more like weekly check-ins anymore because you guys know, I think I've explained what I'm doing so far. I will see you at week two. Hello again! So it is now April 7th, I think. It has been some time since you last saw me. I have looked like a complete troll the entire month because we are in quarantine, as you probably know, and I just have not seen the point in doing anything with my face until now. So that's why you haven't seen me in a while. But the day has finally come where I'm going to give you my final thoughts on this whole Bondi Boost experience. I've been doing everything for a month and I'm actually quite proud of myself because I really really maintained the schedule even beyond what I thought I could. Every single time I wash my hair I either use the oil for a minimum of two or three hours. Um, I didn't ever like sleep with it overnight because I have nothing to cover my head with so I just didn't do that but I did it for two or three hours every alternating hair wash and then every other time I washed my hair I would put the conditioner in and I would leave it in for like an hour or whatever because I usually end up watching TV. I also was able to spray the spray in my hair. I can't remember what it's called right now. It's not with me, um, but I sprayed it in my hair every single morning, sometimes in the nighttime. Actually, some days I did it twice a day just because I couldn't remember if I did it or not. All I know is that I did not miss a day of spraying that in my hair. And I guess now is the moment that I'm going to show you my hair progress a little bit closer. Um, excuse my hair, it's really fuzzy because this is day two after I've washed it um, and I don't have hairspray anymore. I need to go get it, but I can't go get it. Ignoring all of this fuzziness here, that is all baby hairs. And those are the longer ones too. So I've been keeping track of it. I got really, really close to my scalp with like a magnifying glass the other day. There is hair in this tiny little pot that I was talking about last time. I'll get closer, I hope you can see it. But like, this is where I was really having issues before and... I don't know if you can see that, the little dots, but there are a lot more little dots than there used to be. And like, even from further away, I feel like it's definitely still thin, don't get me wrong, but this is like normal people thin, not like it was before where I was like balding. When I turn to the side, you can still see like this. But then again, I've only been using this for a month and the baby hairs are so small that it's not actually going to cover that. That's unrealistic to expect it to do that. And I have not been documenting like the length of my hair because I don't really care about the length of my hair. My hair is really long as it is. So I can't confirm or deny whether if you're wanting to use this for like length, if that's going to work. So I apologize for that. But if you were interested in this whole range for like new growth on your scalp, I just wanted to let you guys know that it works. So I'm going to continue using the entire range just the way that I have been as diligently as I can. And I will keep you guys updated on whether it's getting better. Of course, you guys are gonna see me in videos after this, so you'll be able to tell, but I am no longer using the Bumble Bumble Spray 
I have not used anything else in my hair this entire month. I haven't used mousse, hairspray. The only thing was heat protectant like two times because I only straightened my hair twice this month. Maybe that has something to do with the growth as well. Maybe I've just been very, very nice to my hair this month, but I don't want to take away the credit from this product line. I think Monday Boost are doing an amazing job with these products and I really do recommend them. I don't want to falsely advertise like miracle results or anything. I just wanted to put it out there that in my case it is working and I hope that it will continue working. So I've already been talking for a decent amount of time. I'm going to go now. I just wanted to let you guys know how it's been going. I will have the link down below to the specific product bundle thing that I got. You're always welcome to ask me absolutely anything in the comments and I'll try my absolute hardest to respond in the best way that I can. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I really appreciate it. You guys are the absolute best to me in the world to me and I will see you in next week's video. Yes, there will be a video next week. I've got it all planned. I've got half of it filmed, so I promise you there will be another video next week. Stay safe, stay indoors, and I will see you next time. Bye guys! Thank you.